is this robot welder going to take all of our jobs? The answer is no. These orbital welders have been around for decades and if anything are responsible for more man hours, not less. These machines are used to achieve a nearly perfect, very repeatable weld bead on sanitary tubing. This limits some of the risk of human error in the pharmaceutical, semiconductor, biotech, and other industries. It is a type of TIG welding. This is me making sure the tungsten's lined up with the seam first. The tungsten is inside of this chamber which seals up and fills entirely with argon before the arc starts and it pulses the whole way around the tube on a track. The four segments of the weld are customizable from the computer as well as the upslope and downslope. Of course a perfect purge is key and purge tacking is mandatory. We often run argon from these giant liquid argon tanks. You usually need to run a sample weld before and after making all the critical welds because if they turn out good, it's assumed that every weld in between is of the same standard. And every single variable involved in the weld is recorded on a weld log. That includes the welder cert number, argon lot number, heat number of both fittings, often the date of the weld, and which weld it is on the weld map. So in the event there is a bad weld someday, you can isolate the issue and trace out all the other welds with the same variables. The whole process is pretty comprehensive and moves at a slower pace than usual. The piping must be fabbed in such a way that the bore scope can reach every weld and videos are sometimes given to the customer or inspector. It's kind of fuzzy, but you can make out a very consistent weld and the downslope. If you found this interesting and want to see more, be sure to follow.